We have one public comment card by Mr. Charles Masala. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Mr. Masala, you have the floor. Yes, you are, Jay. Thank you. Um, council members, welcome, or, or thank you. My name is Charles Marsala, 2511 St. Charles Avenue. I'm a, a, no, a local, but I went out to California. I actually spent eight years on the Atherton City Council, vice mayor and mayor. So I appreciate what you're doing. And often we get into this uh, thinking we're going to serve, and we end up having to disappoint a lot of people and have a lot of contention, as I've seen the last month, what's going on. I appreciate the, um, how you're trying to resolve a lot of issues in the town. Thank you, Mr. Marcel, for that. I, um, I don't, I've been trying to, to speak. I was um, not in time enough for the cutoff on the previous one meetings. In the last meeting, you don't have public comments for items not on the agenda, which is something we had on our calendar. So I'd like to speak about something that might be on next week's agenda, because I might not be able to be here yes, because sir. of that. The, um, the issue on the, on the monuments, I'm going to say, I think it would have been beneficial had you asked the city attorney to comment on whether there were any federal laws or state laws that were going to be impacted by the ordinance. We and our council over my eight years actually were sued four times and we lost all four lawsuits on ordinances that we enacted that we later found that violated a federal ordinance or state ordinance. Uh, one time we actually tried to outlaw football, believe it or not, by writing a noise ordinance on the whistles the referees used saying they were too loud. You know, so we can sometimes get a little carried away. That's one you should have lost, I think. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's, it's worth, worthwhile, we learn, to ask the city attorney to be a little more proactive to the council in giving us advice on things we're voting on. I uh, Also, we often gave opposition 10 minutes, like the mayor spoke of about 10 minutes. We would have given someone 10 minutes to give a rebuttal for that in a, in a concentrated manner. I, uh, I want to suggest perhaps you could repurpose Liberty Monument and that it actually is about 3,500 people who defended C.C. Anton, who was a very successful um, African-American and lieutenant governor. And there is a, a purpose there that could be used to rededicate that monument to what was actually happened on, on that side of what happened. And also on, on PGT Beauregard, about hundreds of people spent about 20 years raising the funds for that. So as Mr. Isaacson, as I read his letter about the context of what statues were raised for, and I lived up the street from Stanford University. Many of my residents were part of Stanford think tanks. That um, Mr. Uh, Beauregard was an engineer for school unification, National Guard leader, and more. And with talks with others, there's an interest perhaps in moving him. He's also an Italian, which I happen to be. And there's an interest in moving him to an Italian museum that honors Italians and the Italian ancestry. And I don't know what process would be in place to do that, but I'd be interested in pursuing that should his uh, statue be removed, to move him to a museum that looks at engineering, which I also am, and the innovations that he did and the contributions as an Italian-American. The um, final thing here is, uh, I think that actually, in general, covers it. If there is a process, if you'd let me know. And the other thing would be, going forward, I would suggest perhaps you look at each statue one at a time, if there's going to be additional statues, because the context of each statue could be different than that of a whole. So an agenda item, you might have several items as opposed to one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. To join the Smarter Conversation, visit MarcellaForLA.com.